gonna shoot a quick video here about a misconception that I often hear through messages I receive on LinkedIn about happiness and working in top tech. I get all these messages from people on LinkedIn who are unhappy in their current jobs. And so they see me working at Amazon and the messages go something like, I'm unhappy in my current job, Amazon is my dream company, can you help me get in? And when I read between the lines of these messages, it's kind of fascinating, right? Like people are somehow associating their lack of happiness to their current job and that if they were to get into their dream company, that they would be happier, right? They're not, they're not outright saying that in the messages, but that's the implication. And oftentimes, when somebody's thinking about making a career switch from where they are, right, some, some place of unhappiness, it's usually for two reasons, right? One is they wanna make more money, which is totally understandable, and two is that they feel as if working in a top tech company like Amazon or Google or Facebook, whatever, is going to be more meaningful work, right? Or it's gonna be you know, much more impactful somehow. <clears throat> And I wanna address these two things uh, in this video because you know, when I joined Amazon, those are the same kind of feelings that I wound up having. And I thought that you know, from a money perspective, uh, and the money is much better, no doubt, right? But what people do uh, is they increase their expenses to their new level of you know, finances, right? And they wind up having the same financial problems that they did in the first place. And, you know, money itself is not really a driver of happiness. Like, once you start making more and more money, you'll realize pretty quickly that you'll get these kind of short bursts of happiness, like, oh, I got a promotion, or, oh, I landed at Amazon and now I'm making X, X Y, Z, and I could do all these things. But at the end of the day, it actually, is really no different, right? For a lot of people, right? Unless you're saving or unless you have some kind of strategy to use that money. But a lot of people, they just go and buy a crazy car, right? They buy a big ass house that they could barely afford. And then they're in the same boat that they were when they had less money, but they just have more shit uh, accumulated. So, uh, so it's an interesting, uh, concept around you know the money driver right because I, I think about like a few years ago when I was working in American Express I was making way less money and actually my life my the, my quality of life and everything that I did was really no different than it is today and it's kind of fascinating to you know to, to kind of reflect on that and then you know from the perspective of having a more meaningful uh, existence in a top tech company right I don't know if that's necessarily true. Like you deal with the same crap at every company. Like is Amazon really innovative? Absolutely 100% Amazon is extremely innovative. But one could argue that a startup or a small organization uh, is doing the same stuff and you know, your sense of meaning in a particular job, right, is subjective. It's all a matter of perception and you know, how you feel about that. Uh, particular situation. So, you know, there are there are numerous studies uh, out there about uh, people who are living a really meaningful life, working uh, for very little pay, and people who are working for you know four hundred thousand dollars a year, and uh, and are totally miserable, right? So, and, and flip flop, vice versa, right? So it's all a matter of perspective. And so, you know, I think the key takeaway in this video is. Like if you're unhappy in your job today, right? Try to figure out what the source of that happiness is, un unhappiness is. And you know, you might find that it's a bad boss and that's a really difficult situation to be in when, when you have a bad boss, right? Because it's difficult to escape, right? But if you have a difficult coworker or something like that, just know that the same problems will exist in another organization. Right? And so you have to find ways to ground yourself and be happy in the moment that you're in right now. Because if you make it into Amazon or Facebook or Google or whatever, and you wind up making a bunch more money, but you still have the same mindset, you're still 
going to be uh, in, in the frame of mind where nothing is ever good enough, right? Where you're always seeking more. So that's kind of the key takeaway of this video. Hopefully uh, this can help you in your situation. And uh, that's all I got for you today. If you liked the video, hit the subscribe button. I got a lot more videos coming on you know, LinkedIn topics, career, and just a bunch of other stuff that, uh, that's running through my head. So uh, we'll talk to you soon.